Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today we're going to be showing you a content expansion technique using SEO Minion. So the first thing you're going to need is the SEO Minion plugin, it's just a Chrome extension which you can see up here. So once you've got that, you're actually good to go. So what you want to do is search for the search term you're looking to rank for. So for this example, I'm using blog comments SEO, and basically what you're going to do is have a look at the people who are currently ranking in the top positions, and uh, basically have a look at the headings and see which ones you might be able to apply to your website to expand your content, and basically cover the topic in its entirety. So uh, what we're going to do here is go down to the first one. As you can see, this is ranking number one. And once you're on it, instead of manually going and getting these headings, what you can do is go to the SEO Minion plugin up here, click Analyze on Page SEO, and then scroll down and you'll see this heading section here. So what you want to do is press Show All Headings. It'll pop them all up there and just press Download. Once that's all downloaded, just obviously load that up. And then once it's there, all you need to do is copy the actual headings over and put them into a spreadsheet. So for this example, we've got some rows here. We've got Site 1, Site 2, Site 3. We're going to be analyzing the first three ranking uh, websites for the search term but typically you could do this with five or even more if you wanted to so again like i said you want to copy them into there and then paste them into site one and then do the exact same process for site two and site three so i'm going to pause the video now and actually show you the uh, data when that's all in there okay guys so you can see all the data is actually in there now from the top three ranking sites and as you can see we've got a load of different headings here so what you want to do is basically have a look at your article that you've got at the minute and think, what am I missing that's, you know, used in these articles, uh, using these actual uh, sites that are ranking within the top three positions that could be useful that I can add into mine. The whole idea is basically expanding your content and covering the topic in its entirety, as I mentioned. So for example, as I look through, you've got things here that are like, uh, are blog comments useless for link building or are they useful at all? That kind of topic could be its own heading. So you could actually add that into the your site section. So say we didn't have that in our actual article, you could say uh, we're going to actually add something in saying, are blog comments um, useful for SEO? Something along those lines, or maybe just useful in general. Um, so you could actually use that as a heading for your website based on what other people are using that are ranking. Again, as you go through, you've got why you should use blog comments for SEO, uh, how to find blog commenting sites. So that could be a really great one. Obviously, I'm just listing off examples here, but you'd actually add that in how to find a blog sites uh, could be a really really good heading but again it's just using your common sense some of these you wouldn't use at all so for example this subscribe to sej obviously that's specific to their website uh, just the share there obviously you wouldn't use but it's a great way to actually have a look at who's ranking um for you know your actual search term that you're looking for and why they're ranking and actually expand your content and improve it based on the ranking positions so that's basically that guys hope this has helped thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys later